President Trump's comments about African countries and Haiti drew condemnation from around the world Friday, putting the White House and Republicans on the defensive while casting doubt on hopes of resolving disputes in the coming weeks over immigration legislation. In Tweet Friday, Trump seemed to deny using the term shithole to refer to some countries during a private White House meeting Thursday, but acknowledged he used tough language during the negotiations. Among Republicans, there were differing responses to the comments, but few of them outright condemned his remarks. The lone Democrat present for the Oval Office encounter said that Trump's denial was false and the president said things that were hate-filled, vile and racist. I cannot believe that in the history of the White House, in that Oval Office, any president has ever spoken the words that I personally heard our president speak yesterday. Sen. Richard J. Durbin Dill, told reporters. In a sign that the outcry over Trump's remarks is unlikely to abate quickly, senior House Democrats said that they planned next week to introduce a resolution censuring the president for his comments. A day after the White House did not deny that Trump used the vulgarity, first reported by the Washington Post, Trump dove into the controversy and blasted out his own version of the meeting early Friday morning on Twitter. The language used by me at the DACA meeting was tough, but this was not the language used. What was really tough was the outlandish proposal made, a big setback for DACA, Trump wrote, referring to negotiations over the Obama administration's Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program that allowed children brought to the country illegally, known as Dreamers, to avoid deportation. But Trump's attempt at a denial did little to quell the international outrage at his reported comments that the United States should seek immigrants from countries such as Norway instead of African and Latin American nations. There is no other word one can use but racist. United Nations human rights spokesman Rupert Colville said at a briefing in Geneva. You cannot dismiss entire countries and continents as shitholes, whose entire populations, who are not white, are therefore not welcome. Eba Calondo, spokeswoman for the African Union, said the comments were alarming. Considering the historical reality of how many Africans arrived in the U.S., during the Atlantic slave trade, this flies in the face of all accepted behavior and practice, she said. The controversy began Thursday when the president grew frustrated with lawmakers during an Oval Office meeting as they discussed protecting immigrants from Haiti, El Salvador and African countries as part of a bipartisan deal over the Dreamers, according to several people briefed on the meeting. Why are we having all these people from shithole countries come here? Trump said, according to these people, referring to countries mentioned by the lawmakers. Trump then suggested that the United States should instead bring more people from countries such as Norway, whose prime minister he met with Wednesday. A White House official said Trump also suggested that he would be open to more immigrants from Asian countries because he felt that they help the United States economically. In addition, the president singled out Haiti, telling lawmakers that immigrants from that country must be left out of any deal. These people said, Why do we need more Haitians? Trump said, according to people familiar with the meeting. Take them out. In November, the Trump administration rescinded deportation protection granted to nearly 60,000 Haitians after the 2010 earthquake and told them to return home by July 2019. This week, the administration announced that similar protections for roughly 200,000 Salvadorans will end in September the 2019, unless Congress enacts legislation providing them permanent legal status. In another tweet Friday, Trump focused on remarks attributed to him about Haiti, saying, Never said anything derogatory about Haitians other than Haiti is, obviously, a very poor and troubled country. Never said, take them out, made up by Dems. I have a wonderful relationship with Haitians probably should record future meetings, unfortunately, no trust. Early Saturday, the president again took to Twitter to address his critics, the Democrats are all talk and no action. They are doing nothing to fix DACA. Great opportunity missed. Too bad. Less than an hour later, Trump tweeted, I don't believe the Democrats really want to see a deal on DACA. Reaction to Trump's remarks across the political spectrum and around the globe mirrored what has happened in the past, hastily arranged meetings among diplomats, outrage and sharp criticism from Democrats, and measured comments by Republicans. At an appearance in Milwaukee, House Speaker Paul D. Ryan RWIs called Trump's words very unfortunate, unhelpful, pointing to his own Irish ancestors' migration to America. 
It is a beautiful story of America, and that is a great story and that is the story we have today and that is a story we had yesterday and that is what makes this country so exceptional and unique in the first place, he said. So I see this as a thing to celebrate, and I think it's a big part of our strength. Sen. Jeff Flake Reras, who has been negotiating the immigration policy deal with Durban and Sen. Lindsay O'Graham R.S.C. said in an interview with The Post that he was not at the meeting, but heard about Trump's comments before it went public. And what I've heard reported is consistent about what I heard about the meeting. Flake said that Thursday's comments reflect what Trump has reportedly said in the past about Haiti and Nigeria. I'm not surprised at the sentiment expressed, it's consistent with what he said, but that he would do that knowing the fury it would cause. In a statement Friday afternoon, Graham, who was at the meeting, did not specifically address what Trump said. Following comments by the president, I said my piece directly to him yesterday, he said. The president and all those attending the meeting know what I said and how I feel. I've always believed that America is an idea, not defined by its people but by its ideals. On Friday, Sen. Tim Scott R.S.C. Told a South Carolina newspaper that Graham told him that the reported comments are basically accurate. If that comment is accurate, the comment is incredibly disappointing, Scott told the Post Courier newspaper. In a joint statement, since Tom Cotton Rock and David Perdue RGA, two of Trump's biggest allies on Capitol Hill who attended Thursday's meeting, said, We do not recall the president saying these comments specifically but what he did call out was the imbalance in our current immigration system, which does not protect American workers and our national interest, Trump, the senators said, brought everyone to the table this week and listened to both sides. But regrettably, it seems that not everyone is committed to negotiating in good faith. Cotton and Purdue are co-sponsors of legislation that would enact severe restrictions on legal immigration, a bill Trump has said he supports, but that senior GOP leaders have said could not pass Congress. Rep. Mario Diaz Ballot RFLA, who also attended the meeting, did not address the comments in a statement issued by his office Friday. There are almost 800,000 young DACA beneficiaries who are facing imminent deportation in March if we don't reach a deal, he said. I'm not going to be diverted from all possible efforts to continue to negotiate to reach a deal. So statements at the 11th hour are not going to distract me. An immigration hardliner in Congress prep. Steve King Riowa tweeted support for Trump's remarks Friday, if those countries aren't as you to describe, Democrats should be happy to deport criminal aliens back to them. End anchor babies, too. In the wake of news reports about his comments, Trump initially was not particularly upset by the outcry and spent a portion of Thursday night calling friends and confidants to assess the potential fallout, part of his routine attempts to take the temperature of longtime contacts, according to a White House official familiar with the situation who spoke on the condition of anonymity to speak frankly about the president's response. While Trump does not generally enjoy widespread negative media coverage of his more controversial statements, the official added he is cognizant that the situation will probably be perceived differently in Washington and on television news compared with his political base across the country. Hillary Clinton, Trump's 2016 Democratic rival, weighed in, tweeting that Friday's eighth anniversary of a major earthquake in Haiti is a day to remember the tragedy, honor the resilient people of Haiti, affirm America's commitment to helping our neighbors. Instead, we're subjected to Trump's ignorant, racist views of anyone who doesn't look like him. Left unanswered is how much damage Trump's comments have done to the ability of Congress to soon reach a deal on DACA. Durbin said in a written statement Friday that he and others in his bipartisan group will continue pressing for an agreement. It continues to build support for the only deal in town, he said. Graham voiced a similar sentiment in his statement believe it is vitally important to come to a bipartisan solution to the immigration and border challenges we face today, he said. I am committed to working with Republicans and Democrats to find common ground so we can move forward. Ashley Parker, Mike DeBonis, Erica Werner and Josh Dorsey contributed to this report.